Tell everybody where you come from originally. You're from Mexico, right? I'm from Mexico, from Durango, Mexico. Yeah, and how did you learn to ride racehorses? Uh, my brother-in-law taught me how to ride horses when I was young. When I was like 14 years old, he taught me how to ride horses. And we went from there. Was he in the racing business? Uh, he's a, he was a Gallup boy. Gallup boy, okay. Yeah. So how'd you wait, make your way to the United States and when did you come over? Uh, well, I came here because of my family. But um, then I went to school and I, my brother-in-law used to work with horses and I fell in love with the horses and I started working in, with the horses at quit school and I just keep doing it. And when did you get your license? How old were you? I was uh, 27, 26 or 20, I was fixing to turn 27. So it took you a little while to kind of figure out that's what you wanted to do? Yeah, well I just, I wasn't interested in you know, becoming a jockey. But then I got into it and I fell in love with it and I just got to do it and I'm doing it. Yep. Now you got to ride an exercise ride for some famous trainers. Tell me about that and how you got into uh, riding for them here at Delta Downs. Yes, yeah, so I, I was I galloped for a Steve Musin and I galloped for Neil Howard for a while. He's the one that helped me to get my license, Neil Howard. And then I, I was riding at the fairgrounds. Then I went to Louisiana Downs, then came here with my agent, Don Summington. Yeah, and what made you come to Delta Downs? I mean, did, did Don tell you it was a good place to ride? Yeah, Don, Don told me to come here. And then, you know, there was a few people that I was riding for, and that's what brought me over here. Yeah, now Don won a lot of races in his career. He's, he was a jockey, of course. Does that help you out, kind of book rides yeah, and talk to him? Yeah, he coaches me a lot. Does he? Yes, he does. So it's like having a personal coach too. Yeah, he helps me a lot. You know, when I'm making mistakes, he comes around and talks to me about it and we watch replays and stuff together. Yeah. Now this year at Delta Downs, you kind of had a breakout season. You're in the top five in the standings. What what made that uh, improvement this year? This was your second year, right? Right. Well, you know, help from the trainers, Eduardo Ramirez, Steve Musin, Joy Foster, Joe Byrne, a few other trainers, you know, they have helped me. You know, trainers and horses make the jockeys, so I don't think it's just because of me. I think it's because of the help that, that I've been getting from these thrift trainers. Now, you've had to have the talent, though, so don't short sell yourself there, but it's good to be in with good barns and good horses, isn't it? Yes, he always helps. He makes you a lot better rider, and, you know, I try to learn from the better riders that are here, like Timothy, Diego Sainz, G Money. Yeah. And, you know, I always try to watch them how they ride the track, and I try to adjust myself to the to the way they do it over here. And you don't reinvent the wheel, just learn from the guys who do it right, huh? Right, yeah, you gotta keep an eye on them so you can learn from them. Yeah, absolutely. Now, well, what do you like best about riding at Delta Downs? It's a small track, but you've had great success. What do you like it here? How do you like it well, here? Well, you know, I'm kind of aggressive rider, and you have to be aggressive in this track so you can get a good position early. And, I mean, you know, that helps, but I just like it. Like it, yeah. You like it here, so you I plan like on staying people. here a while, yeah, season like after people. season, huh? Yeah, if, uh, my plan is to be coming back over here after Luzina Downs is over. You know, I'm going to go to Evangeline for a little bit, then Luzina Downs, and then come here. Yeah. Speaking of Louisiana Downs up by Shreveport, that's where your family is, right? Tell us about your wife and your kids. Yes, my wife and my kids are there. They go to school over there, so they meet, they've been missing me over there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they come every weekend, so. And you have two boys, right? Tell me, what are their ages? Seven and eight. Seven and eight. And what are their names? Joel Jr. and Andy. Joel Jr. and Andy. Okay, cool. Did they come down here and watch you ride? Yeah, they do every weekend. Oh, that's cool. Now, one last thing. Your nickname is the RoboCop. I love saying that. People like that name. Tell us where you got it. Uh, well, Roberto Morales gave it to me. Uh, the fairgrounds, when I had the bug, I came up with a horse at Cliff Hills and uh, I was had my, my collarbone broken, leg broken, seven ribs broken, and I was wow. walking. I walked into the jack's room and I didn't want to go to the hospital, but they said, go get checked out because you look pretty bad. So I went there and when they came see me over there, I was all messed up, like my leg was broken and everything was broken and that's how I got the nickname. Cause he said, man, you were walking, you made of iron. And he's like, he was like, you're like Robocop. So he gave me the nickname. <laughs> That's a great story. But, but next time, people call me Borrega. Oh, Borrega. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, next time when you get hurt, go to the hospital. Okay, we don't want you getting hurt any worse. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right, Joel. Thanks for the interview and uh, good luck the rest of the season. We have a few days left and uh, win some more races. Okay. I'm looking forward to do that.